overlays using Creo View MCAT. In many cases, uh, users, whether they are connected to Windchill or not, want to be able to compare what has changed from one drawing to another, one part or model to another, uh, from a PDF to a different PDF, and in most cases it's usually from an A version to a B version or a C version or what have you. Um, there might be groups that are outside of engineering that know or see that there might be change notices, but they really have no idea what may, may be changing from again an A version to a B version. So in Creo View, and more specifically Creo View MCAD gives you the ability to perform these overlays or what PTC likes to call it, comparing and they use uh, a simple two color highlight system uh, to show those differences again from drawing to drawing model to model or PDF to PDF. Now from a software standpoint there are three flavors of CreoView. There is CreoView MCAD, CreoView Lite, and CreoView Express. The MCAD version and the Lite version are paid, um, paid pieces of software from PTC. The CreoView Express is a free download that you can get from the downloads page. Now what I have down here at the bottom, uh, specifically put this up here for the idea of PDF comparison and from a history of the software just wanted to make sure to show you this because you very well could be using some of the older versions of Creo View um, that if you have 3.0 from PDF point of view there is no comparison of PDF to PDF you only can do it on what we call a vector file or things like DWGs or AutoCAD format in 3.1 they introduce the comparison of PDFs, PDF viewables, but you only could do it obviously, which you see here on a Windows platform, and there still was a conversion to a bitmap, Im bitmap image. In Creo 4.1, the very latest and greatest, you now can actually open up PDFs directly, and when you go to open up those PDFs directly, you're going to get a little selection that says, do you want to open them up as documents or do you want to open them up as drawings? When you select drawings, which we will do here in a little bit, you will have the ability to compare those as if you would um, uh, drawings that come directly out of Windchill. We have set up three scenarios for this session. The different sessions, or the, excuse me, the different scenarios that we are going to uh, show here, the first two will be done out of Windchill. We'll compare a drawing to a drawing, obviously, with different versions of those. The next one will do two models. And then we'll take it as if we have just two PDFs on our desktop. We want to open them up and we want to compare those. So I'll set up here, pretty simple, just from the home page of Windchill. And I will search for the two objects that I know have two different, uh, two different versions of them. We have our chainsaw drawings, not a giant drawing, but it, I made some changes from one to the next. So you can uh, see the differences here, but chainsaw 220. I have the B version and the C version, and the way this is done for comparing in Creo View is I pick one, pick the other, I do a right click and you'll see copy. When I say copy, there it is, I actually copied these before, that's okay. What happens is they go to the clipboard. You will see these two objects that we had just selected. We'll go ahead and select them. We'll do a open in Creo View. Once I go to open them in Creo View, I will log in as my user. And what we'll see here is if I go to my viewables, well, first of all, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and say we want to be able to make annotations on C2. There it is. Let's go to our viewables. Here's our viewables button. Yes. One, two. I'll right click and say I want to compare the selected. Now, over here on the left hand side, and we'll go, come up here in just a second, over here on the left hand side you will see a layout of what's contained in those drawings. So we have different sheet numbers, you can kind of see the difference in our order that we have here. We, that's done on purpose so I can show you some good compare stuff. Okay, And then at the top, most of this stuff is pretty straightforward. We have an align by origin, which aligns both of these by the origin. We have an align by center, which essentially aligns the centers of the drawings to each other. And then we have a line by references. And the line by references is nice. And the reason it's nice is that I could say on essentially drawing A, I want to align this end point of that line 
to the same endpoint of that line on drawing B. Because in some cases we want the, the, the views may move around, but we want to be able to compare them view to view. And the origins don't allow us to do that, or the, the, the drawings aligned by oranges don't allow us to do that. So view to view, or again, some of the other alignment objects. Now, just like we talked about here, or you saw here in just a second ago, I said, hey, I want to see both. I want to see only the A drawing, or I want to see the B drawing. When you see both of them, this is where you get your comparison ideas or the different highlights where all of these entities lay directly on top of each other so you don't see a change. But when they start to go off, there you see it. Now, if we go from sheet 2 to sheet 2, obviously you get something crazy on this one because the difference in sheets. Okay, On sheet 2, sheet 2, there we are, there's no change. If I go to sheet 4, and obviously we see something for sheet three, but that's standard, right? Because I switched those sheets around. If I go to sheet four, now, I know that there is a change on here, but you know, whoever doesn't know that there's a change on here, how do you know if something's really small? How do you see that? If you hit the show differences button, what it will do is actually highlight the differences, okay? So let's show it back and show both. There it is. We can see that when he's zoomed up, there's green, there's red, but again, when you're zoomed out, it's hard to see that. But if I hit show differences, it will now show me those, right? Show me those differences. So it's a little bit more of an isolated idea. So I can say show A, we can see that it's 0.13. I can say show B, and we can see it's 0.15. So this show differences button becomes very important because in a number of cases, it's hard to see what those very small changes may be. Kind of like what I brought up before, where we have a hole that's moved a very small amount can't really see what it is you don't know what those changes are showing the differences isolates just the differences themselves so let's go ahead and go back and say show both and then on sheet three compared to this sheet three you can see down here i just moved some balloons around just so you can see that those balloons moved around now this is a drawing to drawing comparison let's do it a little bit differently this time let's do a model to model comparison Let's go ahead and go back. There we are. We'll do a search this time for two parts that I know have changed. I think it's housing underscore cover. I think that's what they are. Actually, I know what they are. They're housing underscore front. That's what they are. All right, housing underscore front, there is a B, there's a C version, there they are. Again, same type of thing. We'll do a copy. We'll go look at our clipboard. Now, notice how the other drawings are still on the clipboard, so we haven't got rid of the objects on the clipboard. But this time, we're going to compare the two housings. There they are. Again, open them in Creo View opening the thumbnails. Where do you want to put your annotations at? We'll put them on the C2. Let's go ahead and turn both of these on. There they are. Okay, there they are. I'll go ahead and pick both of them. Now, you don't see it in a right click here, right? Before we did a right click, you don't see it there. But if you go to Tools, you have what is called Compare. If I hit Compare, it says, hey, what are we comparing? We've selected them, so it knows that. See how it's aligning them up. That's the important part right there. We'll do a compare. It'll run our little report. Now you don't see very much, but remember on that drawing, we knew that there was a little difference kind of down in these corners. So if I zoom up on that, there we are, you can see where it's gonna show me where I have my two differences and those two parts are. At the same time, you also have this geometry compare report where it says, okay, the amount of volume that is modified, here's the amount of volume on the first, ob on the first object or first item, the first part, here's it on the second, and then here's the difference. We see a little bit difference in the center of gravity, but at least now from a uh, from a color standpoint and then also from a little bit of a report, I can see the differences from one part to the next. If I come over here to my compare display drop down, you see what is the common geometry, what is added, what is removed. I say OK to this. And there is our comparison from part to part. Now, the last scenario that we will run through, 
is the PDF to PDF. See, here's our comparison report. That's that's what you can p open up in Creo View Lite, which uh, you can't do in Express. We'll go ahead and say no. We don't want to see the comparison report. And in this case, we're not going to do this from Windchill. We're going to do this directly from Creo View. Okay, so there it is. We'll do a file open. In this case, on my desktop, I have that PDF. There's that PDF. They are the same, the same drawings. They're just in PDF format. We'll say open. All right, now, this is what I was talking about before. It says, do you want to open up as a document? If we opened up both of those as documents, we wouldn't be able to do the compare. If we open up both of them as drawings, which you can obviously set as a default, we'll be able to do the compare. So the drawing, there's drawing, same idea. Okay, we'll say compare selected. And then we get the same idea or same result that we saw before, right from page three to page three. Uh, in this case, looks like I have a little bit difference in my pages. I might have saved them a little bit different at a different time, but you'll see the same little minute differences that we had before. So this is Creo View Impacad's compare functionality. I hope you see where this will benefit you. If you have any questions in the future, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll do what we can do to answer them.